for about three and a half hours this morning. We're gonna have some fun, sweat, and definitely do some good for Tampa Bay. Hi, I'm Kelly Gatch with Field and Stream, and I'm in Riverview, Florida, on the shoreline of Schultz Nature Preserve, located on the eastern side of Tampa Bay, just below the mouth of the Alafia River. These waters and the surrounding shoreline are home to redfish, sea trout, snook, and many colonial bird species, such as the brown pelican and white ibis. But wakes from large boats and strong tidal currents are causing a higher rate of erosion here than in other areas of the preserve, which is changing the shoreline and harming fish and wildlife habitat. Today's Hero for a Day project will help restore that habitat by creating living oyster bars along the shoreline. This will act as a buffer for wave action and help reduce the current erosion rate. My name is Sarah Herndon and I'm the Habitat Restoration Director for Tampa Bay Watch. And we're here at Williams Park Boat Ramp uh, getting ready to do an oyster shell bar restoration project. Tampa Bay Watch is a nonprofit environmental restoration and education organization. We do lots of different habitat restoration projects in and around the bay. The core program stands for Community Oyster Reef Enhancement, and that is a program that we do out at Tampa Bay Watch to place hard bottom habitat back into the Tampa Bay estuary. Leading today's project is environmental scientist with Tampa Bay Watch, Kevin Mrzevich. Well, this is the beginning stage right here in the parking lot. What we're going to do is actually take these shells, put them into the mesh bags to create our oyster shell bar. The next step is to take these bags and load them onto all of our boats out here. Hopefully by noon today, all that shell will be gone and out on the shoreline. I'm ready to go and I think the whole crew that we got here today is ready to go also. We're a small group of environmental scientists but we have a large reach by using the community to come out and do these types of projects. CCA Florida and Tampa Bay Watch has got a long-standing relationship. One of the reasons we partner with the Coastal Conservation Association, they realize that these projects help recreational fisheries. This is what it's all about, giving back. And here's where it's going. That shoreline gets a lot of wave energy from the large ships coming in and out of the port of Tampa. By stabilizing the shoreline, we are helping to build up the sediment behind the shell bar and reduce the rate of erosion that is happening out there. This oyster shell bar will also help to create habitat. They're a great place for redfish, as an example, uh, to go and feed. So the recreational fishermen in the area look for these oyster bars. Oysters growing naturally without the use of our bar right in the path of our bar. So as we bring this bar up here, we'll build the bar right around this clump right here. And when these guys spawn, the babies will already have a home to latch onto. The third great thing that this shell bar is going to do out there is it's going to help to filter the water. A full grown oyster can filter about 10 gallons of water per hour. That's my thank you. To drive across the bridge and now I can see the bottom and you didn't used to be able to. This is amazing to me how many tons of oyster shells have already been laid down because of local volunteers that care. Volunteers are a crucial, crucial part of being able to do the type of work that we do. We started off with a big pile of shells and uh, that went down pretty fast. I think this is a uh, record timing. I feel great, you know, to come out and be able to uh, invest in my community and my waterways like this. I enjoy the water, I enjoy fishing, and it's always important to give a little bit back from what you take from. I don't really feel like a hero, I just feel like we're having another fun day boating. I have grandchildren, I'm hoping that uh, the fishery will come back and uh, they'll have fish to catch. It's not just one person, it's many people coming together to do great things, and that's what we're all here for. The, the guys that are really running this full time, they're really the heroes. This project brings Tampa Bay Watch closer to its goal of creating eight new oyster shell bars along Schultz Preserve shoreline over the next two years.
the Tampa Bay Estuary is one of the few bays in the country that is able to say that because of what we've done, water quality is starting to improve, resources like fisheries and, and bird life are starting to come back to the bay. So these projects do work. Go to fieldandstream.com to learn more about volunteer opportunities near you. And join us for our next Hero for a Day project, removing abandoned crab traps along the Gulf Coast of Louisiana. Mm -hmm.